What we have here is Ecoflex 0050 from Smooth On. It is one to one by weight or volume, so it's going to be real easy to use. It's also body safe, so it'll be perfect for what we're making. We will also be using some mica based pigments to color our silicone. We have a really nice silver and a really pretty red. These pigments are also body safe, so these will be the pigments we'll be using. There are also liquid pigments, which are really easy to use as well. Other supplies we'll be using today are nitrile gloves, because latex can cause cure inhibition in platinum cured silicones. We'll also be using some good quality craft sticks or tongue depressors, as well as a couple of mixing cups. We'll also be using some mold release. This is Man Ease Release 200. And we'll also be using a vacuum chamber and vacuum pump. And before we get started, we will make sure to spray our mold with mold release and set it aside to dry. As we get started, we want to check our pot life and cure time for our silicone. In this case, our pot life is 18 minutes and the cure time is three hours. Now we're going to measure out our silicone. In this case, I need 80 grams of part A. And I'll need 80 grams of part B. And now we mix like crazy. Make sure you get a good positive mix of your two parts. Now, since this is a two color pour, I'm going to separate off about half of my silicone into a new cup. And now we'll add our pigment. Roughly speaking, you'll need about one gram of pigment per hundred grams of silicone. However, that can be adjusted up or down depending on the color or just whatever you're trying to achieve. And right now I'm checking for clumps or other issues. All I see are bubbles without any clumps, so we're good to move on. The next step is to vacuum out any air that might be in the silicone. I was really aggressive with my mixing, so there is a lot of air in the mix. This is sped up, but what we are looking for is to see a rise and collapse of the silicone. Then we're going to continue vacuuming until no more bubbles come out of the silicone. Now that we have our completely degassed silicone, I'm going to add the silver to the red so we can get a nice fade or marbling effect between the two colors. This is where you can get really creative with how your colors combine. Small changes with positioning in the cup can have a big effect on the final product. Silicone isn't cheap, so make sure you use all of it. We have our silicone ready to go and our mold as well. Now we're going to pour straight down the middle. If you hit the sides, it's not the end of the world, but it will break up the marbling effect that I'm shooting for in this case.
I like to put a little design on the base as my signature, but you can do whatever you like. If you have any extra silicone, you can always pour that off into an extra mold. I like to create an extra squishy from the excess and include that with the order. And one final tip, always keep your cups with your mold. That way you can always check to see if your piece is fully cured without actually touching the piece. Or if you need to do any troubleshooting later, you've got your samples to compare against. And I think we're ready to demold this one. But the first thing we want to check is our cups and see how they came out. The red is fully cured and peeled out very nicely. So let's check the silver. And finally, we'll double check ourselves with the squishy. Since the cups were fully cured and the squishy came out fine, I think we're ready to demold this one. First, we'll give it a squeeze and check all the way down. Next, we just want to break it loose at first by giving it a little stretch. Then we're gonna work a bubble all the way around and down to the tip, just to make sure it's loose all the way down. This way we don't actually tear the tip off or have other problems. This is what we call a dough short. You can see the silver starts at the tip and goes all the way down. And the red comes in around the halfway point and completes the base. And all in all, I'm going to call this a success. The final step is to do any trimming that might need to be done. We'll just trim off any of that extra flashing around the base. You should also do a final wash and clean of any excess mold release that might be hanging around. 